Hey, welcome everyone. This is Great View News in our fourth week of isolation in various ways. And uh, this is Holy Week. Uh, we had Palm Sunday and through the week we reflect on Jesus' activities coming up to Good Friday, the Last Supper, his suffering and persecution, crucifixion and death. And then of course on Sunday, the resurrection is our focus. And uh, so uh, Carolee has actually written a poem about the life of Christ and what it means for him to be planted in our lives. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're gonna have her start off today by reading her poem. Yeah, so I'm just going to take a few moments. Uh, I created this about three years ago, so it's called You Have Been Planted. What longing is this I find? Like a seed, you have been planted. Needing no water, no food, you are your source. You have been established. Time is not limited. You have been un implanted. The foolishness of your leaves are wiser than the sun's beams. You have been lodged. Like a tree, your roots grow deeper and deeper, sinking into the hearts of those who have weeds. You have been fixed. An ordinary, carried a cross instead of a crown. You chose death so that we could no longer drown. You have been sown. Instead of rest, you effortlessly rose again. You have been invited. The energy you carry cannot be fed, for it has no limits. You have been regarded. You are the less traveled road, edgy, frightening, scary, limitless, and unknown. You have been praised. Like a storm, you do not capsize, for your anchor seizes the winds. You have been loved. Like no other sun, you came to be loved so that there was love. You have been awakened. The dark night arises at your disposition, waking up the dead sleepers. You have been secure. You did not trespass as you were already there. You have been sought, surprised, shaken, stunned, and stirred by the new blood that fixes our eyes. You have been embraced. Father, Son, your arms carry us through the heavy current. You have been seen. SOS on an island forever, lost and now found, you bring us back to your home. You have been anticipating. Joy cannot be still as your children come to your table. You have been moved. From slavery to Calvary to sanctuary to safety. You have been creating. The lack of paper cannot limit what you create and restore what is yours. You have been cultivated. Fish is your use of salvation. Saved from the pit of the stomach, grace was sufficient. You have been alive. Hearts bash their drums. Melodies make sound, binding joy with noise. You have been all I ever wanted, my beloved, my forever king. Wow, thank you. That's, uh, there's some rich imagery you have mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. that's, that's great. Mm -hmm. And uh, this focus on Jesus and what he's done, what his work is. Mm -hmm. And that's that really is the focus of Holy Week. It's the story that we have to tell to the world in a time like this. And so mm -hmm. thank you for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, interestingly, one of the things that, that we've sent out to people in a kind of a, an email this week is the, the thought around uh, having sort of a, a communion exercise in your own right. households. Right. And uh, breaking bread in this time of isolation mm -hmm. when we're not able to gather for communion That's here mm -hmm. um, and yet we want that focused attention paid to Jesus uh, during this week mm -hmm. and so yeah so that was that was a thought uh, mm -hmm. 
print it out and uh, see if that's something that you could do in your household, whether there's one or two or five of you in your house, to actually have an intentional moment on Thursday evening or sometime on Friday, Good Friday, where you reflect on the story of Jesus' death and, uh, and break bread together uh, in just a way that's maybe different from normal, but uh, give that one a try. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and gathering is, is so important in that, in your own households. And mm. at this time of, uh, you know, being at this, this longing for intimacy, this longing uh, to be uh, together, uh, you know, trying to, trying to uh, make, make a point of that and yeah. making the point that, that Jesus is the center of that. Yeah. Because yeah. um, he, he understands that loneliness for sure. Yeah. Um, so, so in regards to uh, you know these gatherings, we have made it apparent that we're trying to connect with yeah. uh, Rayview <laughs> as much as possible. We've been we've been trying these uh, these Zoom conversations, yeah. Yeah. and we last week and this week uh, for prayer time on Tuesday mornings, we've had a Zoom yeah. uh, with six or seven households, computers coming in, and we have a conversation and prayer, and we actually did that on Sunday, uh, Sunday morning at 10.30. There was about, uh, I think, 16 screens came onto our Zoom uh, image, representing about 30 or so people in our congregation. Uh, we just spent half an hour, hey, how's it going? We got to see some babies that are growing up, and... Uh, we had some prayer time and just conversation and uh, just 30 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. And so we're planning that again okay. for this Sunday, Easter Sunday, 10.30 a.m. If you'd like to join us for just, hey, how's it going on Easter Sunday? Mm -hmm. uh, and a brief time of prayer. It's not a, a big commitment. Uh, we'll have our other content uh, for a service type of thing also there on the website. But uh, if you'd like to join us for the Zoom chat, you'll get a link for that in a couple of days. Yeah. So. And you know, we love hearing uh, uh, from you in this time. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, connect with us, email us, call us. Um, if you want what like prayer uh, in this time, uh, let us know so we can be supportive. Mm -hmm. But we also love uh, hearing great stories uh, uh, we've been hearing some yeah. amazing stories as well. Um, just those those joy moments mm -hmm. in this in these dark times. Yeah. Uh, and and that's and that's the story that we've got, right? It it is. I keep reflecting on this is all happening right during this week, which is such a, a powerful story in the life of the church mm -hmm. for us as believers, uh, as we as we think about the death of Christ. Mm -hmm that is this conquering of evil mm -hmm. and the resurrection that is the promise of new relationship, a new life in Christ. And so it's an interesting thing because we realize there are literally hundreds, thousands of people dying every day from this COVID-19 business. Right. Um, and just from that, there's so many other ways and means that people do die every Absolutely. day yeah it's just the COVID-19 has kind of focused our attention on this one thing mm -hmm. and and yet here we are talking about someone who died and was brought back to life again yeah the resurrection mm -hmm. and and so what's the what's the meaning of that uh mm -hmm. for us again this year sometimes we focus on just the big celebration of it and it's a big event. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not going to have big events uh, right. this year. We're going to be in our homes reflecting on what it means to be a Christian who believes that God came to live and die mm -hmm. and came back to life amongst us. Mm -hmm. And so uh, please... Join us for our content. Uh, again, we'll be posted on our website. And uh, just ways that we're kind of trying to craft uh, song and prayer and scripture 
and a word from uh, the Lord for us this week for our Great View family. And uh, so. Right. And, and, and just to your point, Dan, like, I think in this moment, I think of uh, the upper room and the subtlety of, of the Holy Spirit in that moment. Mm-hmm. Um, and just that understanding that we don't need, uh, you know, a big, huge space. Mm-hmm. We don't even need a building. Mm-hmm. Uh, J- J- Jesus, his presence is there and accessible. Yeah. Um, so the, the, you know, reflecting on the subtlety of, of God's grace and the, the subtlety of, of Jesus' spirit yeah. with, within us at this time yeah. in, our, in our intimate tables yeah. there. With our we're, not, we're not alone. We're not alone. We're yeah. not alone. That's the, uh, that's the Jesus said, I'm, I'm leaving mm-hmm. so that the spirit can come. Yeah. And, uh, and so the spirit is here present amongst us. Well, I thought we'd just close today with uh, a word of prayer uh, for us today. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, you are watching. You understand what's going on on this earth and amongst uh, human beings around the globe. And uh, this is nothing that is a surprise to you. And so you call us to rest in you, mm-hmm. to, uh, to push away fear, to not be anxious, but with uh, thanksgiving and supplication, bring our request to you and your promise is that you will give us a peace that surpasses all comprehension. Mm-hmm. And so that's even when we don't understand all that's going on, mm-hmm. we know because we have experienced with you before this day that there is a living God present amongst us. And so we rest in you, we rest in your peace, and I ask that amongst our Great View family that you would give that sense of peace and rest and that anxious thoughts would be pushed away. We pray this in the powerful name of Jesus, the one who by his blood and his body has conquered death, has conquered the evil one. And so we live in this place of life and victory. And so we commit this day, each person in our community into your hands, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Have a good week, friends. The Lord bless you.